الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to a new show called Inspired by Islam. I want to welcome you all the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is our first episode. Alhamdulillah, with your dua and your support, we are starting. And we want to inspire many, many people through this journey. We know Islam is the fastest religion in the world, or growing fastest religion in the world. And we want to know through our new Muslim brothers and sisters how they are benefiting from Islam and how they, they will inspire us as a ummah, insha'Allah, Aziz. And we'll be, hopefully we'll become a better ummah and better Muslim. In our show today, we have a river brother, his name is Ibrahim, his new name. And inshallah, we'll see how his journey started and difficulties and pleasure and love. So without any delay, I'm going to go to Brother Ibrahim and I will ask him to introduce himself his, with the former name. Brother Ibrahim, welcome to our show. It's a new show. It's a first episode. You are the first person, inshallah, in our show. And we make dua. May Allah bless this show and bless everybody. And we are honored to welcome you to the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if you would like to tell us your former name and where you're from and what you do. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, well, yeah, as you said, my uh, Muslim name is Ibrahim. My, the name that my parents gave me is Andres Leon, which is a Spanish name, because we are from South America, from Ecuador, just near, uh, nearby Colombia. And, um, yeah, um, I was born there, and then when I was 15, we moved to Spain. So I lived in Spain like uh, the last 15 years. And uh, yeah, I became Muslim there uh, seven years ago. And uh, well, I uh, studied uh, software in, uh, engin engineering. Now I um, work here as a software engineer uh, in a startup. Inshallah. And yeah, that's what I do. That's my background. So yeah. how did you decide or why did you decide to become Muslim? Did you have your, before your journey to Islam, yeah. how was your lifestyle and how has the transferred your life? Would you like to share it? Yeah, of course. Um, well, uh, yeah, I was living just a uh, normal Western uh, life. Uh, I had friends that, uh, Men and women, um, they, we were going out, having fun, uh, having fun, going to to the to the beach and uh, yeah, going uh, uh, out, yeah, you know, to ha just to have fun. And so going to the beach, seeing the water, or seeing something else? Yeah, everything. We were <laughs> everything I used to party. Yeah, that's that's normal. Those days, so yeah. normal routine as drinking, else. smoking, yeah, partying. Yeah. So in that culture, without Islam, just wanted to uh, yeah. see how you've changed your rangi. So that, in that place, if you didn't have all these things, so you didn't have women, girl, drink, anything, would you be seen as a, a, a outsider or something like a freak or I don't know? Um, so if, uh, sorry, let me understand before the question. Before your Islam, yeah. if you didn't have you no know, girlfriend or you're not drinking, you're not smoking, nothing, you're just on your own, normal, like now. Would people see you as a, a uh, something wrong with you? After Islam, you mean? Before Islam. Before Islam, no, before yeah. Islam, yeah, before Islam, um, I, yeah, of, of course, if I don't drink, I don't smoke, they would have uh, seen, seen me like uh, yeah, a stranger guy. Actually, unusual, yeah. unusual. Unusual, yeah, yeah. Something not uh, normal at all, yeah. Okay, so how did you decide, or what was, through to Shahada, your journey, yeah. you studied other religion, right? Yeah, at some point in my life, um, I was, I think, uh, 24, 23. And, um, yeah, uh, was was point in my life where life was uh, meaningless. Um, you know, you, I was just waking up every morning, going to work, um, eating, sleeping, um, and every day the same. So, I just uh, was not uh, fulfilling. I mean... I didn't know, I didn't feel that was the purpose of my life or, or anyone's life. Um, so yeah, I, I was started to, to I, 
at that moment, I started my spiritual journey, let's say. So I started to read books uh, like The Power of Now, sp spiritual books, and uh, other books as well. And eventually, after one year, uh, I had in mind already to read at some point Quran, but I didn't have the chance or I was distracted with other th stuff. So before you touch Quran, yeah. you read other books just to look, you're looking for something. Yeah, something is missing something. in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, something that gives, yeah. Me, it gives me fulfillment. You so know? what did you get? I'm just saying before Quran, what did you get? Reading all this, did you get anything or you think yeah, still yeah, not I, I, Yeah, yeah, I felt something like uh, there is something more than just this life. Yeah, there must be the, the hereafter, for example, yeah? something else. It, it, it can't be just this life or this reality, let's say. Uh, there must be something, uh, otherwise it's just meaningless. Uh, what is the point of being here? Yeah. So when I started to read those spiritual books, they give me a, li a little bit of a, a taste of, of being spiritual in terms of uh, cultivating your soul, okay. being good, and this kind of stuff, yeah. Okay, so next one is you, you how, do you, who, how do you get the, did you, someone invite you to Islam, or because you were searching for it, you came to, to the Quran, how did it happen? How did the Quran come to you? Yeah, th yeah that's a good question. Um, at that time, my sister has a partner, it uh, was a, uh, a brother from Turkey, the, it was uh, his, uh, he, her husband. And um, uh, he, he bought that Quran, sure. but not because I asked, because he wanted to give that Quran to a friend of mine. He was more interested in Islam at that time. And uh, yeah, so he gave him, uh, uh, my at that time my brother-in-law, he gave him the, that Quran. So I knew about it, so I, I know I knew that book was there, and I knew that at some point I, w I would like to, to read it. Uh, so once I wanted to read it, I knew wh where it was in, in, in my house. So I picked it up, I started to read in it, and it hooked me. SubhanAllah. Yeah, yeah. But the, pff, you know, that from that day on, I couldn't stop reading the Quran every night. Even though, since I come from a mm, Western background, or Christian uh, background somehow, uh, I crash some with some of the ideas of the Quran, mainly when it talks about um, women of war. Uh, if you are not there, are tho if those um, ayats or the, those uh, verses are not very, are not contextualized, uh, you can mis understand that. So yeah, at that point as well, I met a brother from Morocco, Muslim brother. Um, we became uh, good friends, and he every doubt, every question I had about uh, uh, Islam. Uh, he was able to explain it in such a way it was, it was, it, ju it just made sense for me. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how I started. Okay, so on your own, say yeah. a lot of people are watching you. Um, so some people, they do, f some people, their friend gives them Quran, they read it. So on your own, is, is it easy to understand the Quran or you need someone with it to make more sense? Mm, I think, I would say that the basic concepts of Islam are pretty simple understand okay. yeah but when it comes to more controversial verses yeah uh, I don't know like what I said or women um, yeah if they are you not properly the context. contextualized yeah you have to know the context yeah yeah, yeah yeah then um, uh, you can just understand that Mashallah. easily um, when you do realize that this Quran you're reading is not like a normal book you might look yeah. like a you might look it's like a normal, normal book, book definitely and it changed your life so you also made a, a decision to uh, almost like um, forget everything and let's find out who is the creator of this book. Yeah. So f your first impression, I want to know, how was your feeling, first impression, you, when you made the judgment that this book is telling me the truth? Yeah, the, the, the thing that hooked me, uh, the, the thing that made me feel like, oh my God, uh, pff, so I cannot funny. resist what the book is telling to me because it, the book itself is, is, speaks directly to you. It's not, yeah, you find many stories, but most of the time it's speaking directly to you. Like saying, like saying to you, you that you're looking for the truth, this is the truth, and this is the evidence, how cannot you create, uh, believe in that? So yeah? well. Something like that was like, uh, it was a shaking, you know, shaking, but they shake you and, and, and they is like slap you and they touch you and say, react about this message. It's telling you the truth and how can you not believe it's, it's pretty evident. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Like yeah. So, 
to taking the first step towards Shahada, to, be, to declare your uh, testimony of faith. Yeah. Was it difficult? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was difficult because... What, what was going in through your head? Yeah, because the thing is, what when would I you started to read the Quran, what was my intention was not converting to Islam. Okay. Yeah? I just wanted to be no knowledgeable about this religion. Um, but at some point, after reading Quran, after this brother from Morocco, he took me to masjid and uh, he introduced me to some Muslim uh, friends. And I, I could see that Islam is brotherhood, is something um, peaceful, uh, beneficial <coughs> and positive. All of my fears were gone. And uh, I started to feel, and I was reading Quran, and the message is so powerful that it touched my heart. And uh, yeah, at some point, I, I felt something in my head that was, I, I think was the faith that uh, grew in. And uh, I, w I had just other two options, which was reject it, ignore it, forget about it, and keep doing my normal life. And the second option was being aware of it, accept it, and uh, be um, conscious of it and consequent with it. If I have it and I accept it, I have to practice it and cultivate it and protect it. Yeah. So that feeling was so powerful that made me uh, give meaning to my life because it, the Quran says clearly, you're not being created but just worship him, yeah? Man and, uh, mankind and jinn kind. So yeah, I had my purpose in my life. I have peace in my, in my heart. Uh, everything was just what I was looking for since I started my spiritual uh, journey. And uh, if that was the thing that was worthy of living, how can I ign just ignore it? Subhanallah. Yeah. So that feeling, so, um, I just want to just, just feel, what's it like, that feeling that, because you're taking a step, your lifestyle will change, your family will change, your friendship will change, almost yeah. like you be, you're taking a route where you've never been before, yeah. okay? Yeah, exactly. That feeling must be very strong. What was yeah, that feeling yeah. like? Yeah, it's hard can to explain. Can you describe it? It's hard to describe. Describe. The only thing I can say is, is that when you think about it, or when you think about your, your purpose in life, or your very existence, and you think that, and, and you have it inside, and you feel that Allah is there, and He promised you paradise if you just uh, obey Him, uh, it gives you peace and, and, and gives you meaning in your life and it's more than enough. So that was the like the the source of energy. For, uh, I don't know how to say the, the main thing that give you make sense for you to wake up every morning to go to work and totally just live your life. So how can I how can I could deny this? Uh, so the thing is, was that feeling so was so strong was so full uh, feeling that that overtook your emotion yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I just okay. I just had to to flow with it and yeah and so let did it you be yeah but you did realize you lose your friends not only my friends okay yeah uh, ma many things many things I, I, were, I, I was aware of what the uh, potentially could lo uh, lose like maybe maybe even some of my relatives um, friends and uh, and what I was... What was uh, the reaction? Yeah. You tell us, now you're ready to do Shahada, yeah? yeah? What was your reaction from your family, your friends, and how did they react? Well, uh, to be honest, uh, I, I mostly remember the, when I told my parents, for example. Um, I knew they, they were always uh, being supportive, but I was so scared of, when I started to tell people I became Muslim, I was so scared about my 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 family mainly because I was uh, af afraid of changing our relationship that would ha have uh, affected my relationship um, with them, even though they support me, you know. Um, so when I told my parents, I just gathered him in in the room and I told him, "Look, I have something important to tell you." Subhanallah. Uh, and yeah, I took a a deep breath like now. <laughs> And uh, I told him, I told him, look, uh, I, there's something important has happened to, has happened to my life. Uh, I came across this all of these stages, and after reading Quran, going to masjid and stuff, and learning about Islam, now I can say I am a Muslim. 
Mashallah. And the first reaction in their faces were like, it's not disappointing, but it was uh, uh, fearing, you know? They, because they... So what's the background, your parents, if you could say? <laughs> yeah, no. because my, pa my, my father, he's, uh, he's communist, okay. so he doesn't like uh, religions. Um, my mother is uh, traditionally Catholic, uh, not practicing, but yeah, that's her background. So they were not religious at all. And uh, they didn't think at that moment that religious was a religion or any religion was something uh, good if you practice it, yeah. Um, ma mainly my, my, my father. But even though after seeing their faces with the, like disappointment or fearing, I, I don't know what was that reaction, but they immediately told me, Alhamdulillah, they told me, we trust you, we support you, and whatever decision you take, we're going to be there for you. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. yeah I didn't, to be honest, I didn't expect that. Uh, I was expecting something. How about your bad. friends? How about your friends? Because you don't go out anymore with them. You're not going to be drinking with them anymore. So you left your friends yeah. here. So how did they react? Because their reaction may be, how was the reaction? Yeah, some of them, they, they were close friends. So they knew me. So they know that if I took that decision, it was, must be something good. That's okay, yeah. that's great. So I uh, didn't have with the close ones. Uh, but some of them, uh, they're, they're not very close. At some point, I just stopped to hang out with them. You know, stop, uh, stop uh, hang out, with, uh, hang out in with them, and uh, yeah, uh, I, I, you you lose people during that uh, process. Uh, so, so you do you think it's worth it? Definitely, definitely, it's worth it. Uh, these people, I think, probably they are not with you because they are not mean. They are not meant to be there. Subhanallah. Okay, now you're, you became Muslim, mashallah, yeah. you start reading and, and knowing more about Islam. Yeah. What was your expectation from the Muslim community then? Mm. Yeah, well, huge expectations because the very first m Muslims I met were very welcoming, very warm people, like uh, Latin American people. So, yeah, that's something I really liked. Uh, but yeah, in the end, you you meet, <laughs> you end up meeting a lot of people, and not all, not all of them, they are very welcoming. Uh, but I, I have a positive, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, memory of meeting, you know, the, uh, being around with Muslims. Do you feel many of them know Quran? Do you think many of them, as you as you see with your glasses, that when you were meeting people, they probably were giving you advice and this and that. Do you yeah. think he's coming with, with the knowledge or do you think everyone just saying everything you want to do? Yeah, they just feel excited you became a Muslim. So they try, with the best of the intentions, they try to give you the best of uh, advice. Uh, advice. Uh, mm. But sometimes they just follow, they mix the Islam with their culture. So sometimes they advise you of something that is cultural, has nothing to do with Islam. So the good thing is you just, I was just listening to anyone, but at, at, uh, I always wanted to make sure that whatever I listen before practicing it or before taking it into account, just make sure whether it's correct or not. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Recently, um, you've done your journey to Hajj. Yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Because you are, I, I, I can see you're a very spiritual person, and mashallah, you are so, uh, um, I would say, very lucky or he deserved blessed, the love of blessed, Allah subhanahu yeah. wa ta'ala that actually he you went through a trial that you had to lose your friend you had to lose lots of things but you took your chance many many people actually read and they stop because yeah. they don't want to face that challenge yeah um so he actually invited you so you've been to hajj mashallah this is an amazing thing tell us about the journey and your internal spiritual how did it link up yeah, Hajj is the lifetime tri uh, trip, I mean, um, lifetime journey. It's very, very, very special. It's even though it's the outcome, I would say, of Hajj is two things. First is like the seal of your religion, because it's like the last thing you do um, to perform the five mandatory things. Uh, pillars of Islam uh, so you feel that f f fulfillment so yeah do you have completed something that w Allah asks you to do you're able to do it so that's one thing so it somehow completes your your, your faith 
Um, and the, the remembrance of Allah, uh, the, it's like the seal of being Muslim. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I mean, and what was your, what was your reaction? Because I've been Hajj myself. So what was your reaction the first time you saw the Kaaba? What was your, what was well, it like, feelings? That, I, I was, uh, I made the Umrah before. Okay. So that was not the first time, but okay. the, when I, w I saw uh, Kaaba for the first time, when I made Umrah, Oh, it was very, very, you know, uh, exciting, very, yeah, I, I cried. Like, what can I do? It was, I melted in Christ. Yeah, in, in, yeah, you know. SubhanAllah, I, I had the same feeling as well, honestly. When I went to um, um, Hajj myself with my brother, we were in the, um, a big van, not van, I would say, little coach. And yeah. then the Imam said, now you might see the site of the Kaaba. We're just going to run. And first, I went to the Kaaba, and I was just stuck for minutes. I, d I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I just forgot to make dua, or I don't know what to do. Yeah. Just, what yeah. should I do? Subhanallah. And those days, the Kaaba wasn't showing that much in the TV. Now that you yeah. see every day, yeah. Subhanallah. It was amazing. Like you said, one thing, it completes, almost like you feel that, you complete yeah. your. Uh, you uh, shed tears, it's inevitable. Subhanallah. Yeah. May Allah bless. Yeah. In this journey, I'm sure it's not always easy. You, are, you will have trial because you are created to be trialed anyway to see how are you good enough yeah, for paradise. Yeah, yeah. So in that journey, um, we talked about that you lost lots of friends and this and that. But was it worth it for you? What did you gain from it? it it's, it's important. What did you gain? Yeah. And now how would you pay back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who actually yeah. uh, um, found you? So it was almost like Quran looked for you. Yeah. You know, it's almost like looking for you to go through that system, so... Yeah, exactly. I mean, before, before Islam, I was just living a uh, normal, uh, non-religious life. And uh, you, you had pleasure living that, that life. But you know, at any uh, uh, thing that is pleasure, that pleasure at some point it goes, and then you have emptiness. Yeah? So with Islam, everything I do, alhamdulillah, is... Uh, it just fulfills. It's yeah, you, you don't have that uh, emptiness anymore. It's not only pleasure, uh, pleasant, um, but also it's uh, fulfilling. I mean, you don't have that emptiness anymore after have enjoying, say, going out with your family or wi with uh, your friends or any um, relatives. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it's how does your family see you now then? Yeah, that's they've the seen you before. Now they're seeing you now. H yeah. Are they very pleased with your? I mean, how do they see you? How do they see you now? Yeah, the for example, when I told my parents I became Muslim, they were a bit afraid of that. But after they saw over time the the impact it had in my life, the good, the positive impact, the good changes. Because at that at, at that moment I was I just gave up uni. I was studying. I gave up. I didn't want to study anymore because it didn't have. It didn't make sense for me, life in general, so um didn't make sense to study as well. So what I, uh, Islam made me continue and so finish my, st my studies, my uh, uh, university studies. So, yeah, so that was something that was worrying my parents, for example. When they, they saw that I st continued my studies and I finished and eventually I... Became uh, a better person. Yeah, I became a better person and I graduated. Uh, um, I graduated as well. So they they saw all of those those positive changes and they now they are happy about my m about me being Muslim. In fact, my mother is very uh, uh, he likes Islam in such a way. He she still is a Christian, but um, he likes Islam. He likes the concept of Islam and he likes uh, the impact that had uh, in my life. We nearly finish. Yeah. And um, what would you be your advice to the to the ummah first, and and then you Muslims? So within one minute, what would you be? What, what's your advice for them? Yeah, so my advice is definitely to just be knowledgeable about your religion. Don't think that because you have a Muslim background, that's enough. Um, you need to strive on learning about Islam, because. That's gonna give you the real happiness, re, re, uh, real um, peace 
you're gonna uh, be living a, a peace and it will fulfill your life. Mm. Other than that, um, you're just wasting your time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your time today and, and yeah. um, hopefully uh, we can invite you again inshallah and yeah, thank um, you. <laughs> may Allah bless you, um, your yeah. family and the future uh, 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 a baby or whatever you're expecting inshallah, yeah, may Allah inshallah, bless him. Inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, uh, we are about to finish our interview and um, we hope you uh, got inspired by the things we talked about. I think as a Muslim, like the brother said, we have to learn our deen. And if you practice, inshallah, many, many people will learn from this and get inspired by as well. So may Allah bless you and me and everybody else. And we want you to make dua for the ummah. And hope to see you again, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.